Hey there, internet. So it's Sundance, day three. It snowed a little bit last night, as you can see. Our car is just covered and stuff. Doing that work? Huh? Doing that work? Oh. It's gonna make seeing the VR films today so much more worthwhile, though. <laughs> yeah. It's my favorite part of the day. Not at all. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So I'm here at the bus stop and we got good dogs bite Trump. Although you might want to be careful because you might get a disease if you bite him. <laughs> right? Alright, so I'm on Main Street walking to a VR q and I've been trying to find a beanie because I didn't wear a beanie today. Badly wanted to buy a slam dance beanie but they didn't have my colors. It's had like purple and this weird brown. So successful on my mission to find a beanie. But unfortunately, even Sundance didn't have the color I wanted. They had like orange and like a light blue. And then Slam Dance was like purple, neither of which should have had purple. They, no, but they should have had just black ones for guys. Oh, like unisex. The whole thing, oh, the whole thing. Yeah, the whole yeah, section. Yeah, yeah. Oh. The whole section. So yeah. advice for Sundance and Slam Dance next year. Right. Get black beanies because they're unisex. Or blue. Or blue, or dark blue. Green. We just saw the Felix and Paul Q&A with NASA astronaut. It was awesome. Now we're heading over to the Ray to check out some VR stuff. You can see the snow is just continuing to come down. So we finally made it to the New Frontiers VR segment at Sundance. It took a while to get in. Finally here and everyone's waiting. They're gonna open the doors and then it's gonna be a mad rush to get to each of these VR experiences. There's 90 minutes that we have to check out nine things. There's no way you could see them all yeah, in one session. Yeah, they're more than 10 minutes long. Totally. Some of them are nine minutes. The main ones we're shooting to check out are Chorus. Which is music from Justice, and apparently it's like a six-person interactive one. You just put your hand into the crystal, and it will fuse, and it will ping, and then you'll find yourself in a mirror, and this is you in your new body. Your new female intergalactic warrior body. It's like perfect for today. <laughs> yes, exactly. So you get a chance to just get customs yourself. Then all I really want to say is when you get into the main experience and you see your friends appearing around you, hold the triggers on the back and just keep them held down through the experience because you're going to dance and move around and lasers are going to come out. Just keep these held down. You can hear each other, shout at each other, abuse each other, I don't care, whatever you want to do. <laughs> so we're going to get you suited up. One of you here? That was it works, awesome. It works yeah, so like good job. I was also impressed by like small subtleties, like how well um, the hands, yeah, no. like on yeah, everything no. else, your the hands. I know the shadow. Oh yeah. You had a light source, and then your shadow of your person actually was consistent with the light source when you moved. Yeah, it was great. That to me was the big, the little, that little detail. I was like, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah thanks. Yo, Kurt. I'm super excited. I'm about to try haptic feedback, touch in VR. Something I've heard about for ages and not really tried something that I feel has reached that level. Yeah, you can do it like here and then all go there. Cool. Make sure you have no Just kind of hold, hold your thumb in there, slide it on in. Yeah, good job. Shit, I'm the lawnmower man. Yeah. Cool. Right on. So how's that feeling? That feels great. I feel like yeah. I can just reach out and touch snowflakes. So hold, hold on. We're going to do a quick measurement as well. So hold your left hand
Two thumbs up, two haptic thumbs up. Nice. I love it, so I can help get this off. Thanks for choosing the video. Of course. All right, so we're about to try out some heat haptic feedback with the haptex. Yeah. And I just stick my hand in there. Are you sure it's clean? Left hand. Yeah, I just, uh, I just did it. I'll do it like that. <laughs> All right. Put an ice cube on here. Ah, ooh, that's cold. All right, I'm going to try and leave this on here for as long as I can handle it. Oh, man. <laughs> we could probably get like a freezer burn or something. <laughs> probably have to leave it for a while. It feels like dry ice almost. Um, is that probably what the model is supposed yeah, to be? Yeah, I think so. That's what the model is. Do you want me to switch the camera back to you? No, no, no. This is fine. Okay. Ooh, it's now warm even though I don't have anything warm on it. Yeah, so it's it, it's a bit of a glitch in the system right now, but okay. it is just to, do, uh, to neutralize the temperature back to kind of room temperature, so. Okay. Now I have a deer on my, my hand. And Nobody want, knew they wanted a little virtual deer. I want to like pick them up and put them down on my hand. Alright, uh, now a spider. I'm going to go back to the deer one more time. Throw the spider on oh, the deer. Girl, what's your happening? His name is Robert. Robert playing with his little hoof. Adorable. Alright, now a spider. Spider time. I'm not, not excited about this one. I did this in the other one, but this one is a bigger spider. Don't bite down, don't bite down. Please don't bite down. Please don't. Ah, dragon's coming. Dragons are the natural enemies of spiders. So we're gonna light them up. Try to just feed it to them. Yeah. Eat it, eat it. Oh, ah, no. Light he my hand up. Eats. Dragon, why? I thought we were friends. You can see they're using the Microsoft Connect and also some Oculus sensors. Lots of Connect things. Now six Connects. Uh, I only have one. Is <laughs> more more better. Great. Um, that was really incredible. I was kind of wondering how the Connect systems all going to come to play. Yeah, it's all like it's our engine software technology uh, that we've developed that allows us in real time. Two thumbs up. Four thumbs up. <laughs> Boom. Thank you. All right, I'm here with Fred Verrier from Atlas. And the piece that I'm about to watch, it's called Battle Scar. It's a VR animated movie that's lasting nine minutes. First chapter of a trilogy. And we are here in uh, the room that, we recreated the room that belonged to Patty Smith at the Chelsea Hotel. Oh, very nice. Because Battle Scar is like mainly a story about drunk culture. Oh, sweet. And um, what you can see in, uh, in this movie is uh, very unique because we recreate the unique atmosphere of the 70s on the Lower East Side in New York. Nice. Uh, and it's, uh, I think, the only F-word punk movie you can find in Sundance today. The only what? F-word. F-word? Unbashed use of F-word. Oh, That's lots of cussing. I, I am on YouTube with this, so if I say then they demonetize me. Absolutely. So, so, if, you, so if you say that, I'm going to bleep it. So. I believe you're screwed now. And so what's the word? It's, it's, it's F-word? You could say it. I'm going to bleep it. It's f Okay. <laughs> we got thousands of submissions. And uh, from that, uh, Shari, myself, the VR team, put together what you're about to see. And they cross genres, they cross styles, they cross aesthetics, they cross all kinds of uh, high budgets, low budgets, new filmmakers and established ones. But they are the best things that I have seen. Trust me. Look at my hair. <laughs> I watch a lot of VR. And this was to me uh, the most profound, the, the, the coolest, the most original ones that I, I could find. And they reflected for us uh, the kind of new frontier of philosophy, and that's to bring art and technology and story together with an undertone of humanism. And smile. <laughs> there we go.